Please enjoy the final interview, bringing our series, A Collection of Masks, to an end. Our guest is again a brilliant playwright, actor, and theatre director, the creator of such shows as Ascension and Labyrinth, Mr. Robert Chardish. Henry, it's Ella. Ella? Oh, Ella! Hello! Honey, Ella is calling. What do you mean, which Ella? Our Ella. Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> how are you doing? How, how, how's the weather out there in the States? Oh, you know how it is. Win some, lose some, never a dull day. But I'm not calling from the States, I'm here in England. Oh, one could never keep up with you. I'm staying in that yellow hotel. What was his name? Wait, the one here? In Linfield? Yes. I'm back. Actually, I have a small favour to ask. Do you still have a car? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The same old one. Had it for 20 years now. It's the only thing that still works. Could you give me a ride somewhere? To the cemetery? I can show you which grave it is. No. I wanted, um, I have to check out the theatre. Ah, right, of course. I can be there in an hour. Would that be all right? Sure, Henry. You are wonderful. It sure brings back memories, doesn't it? So much has happened here. Sometimes too much. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Thank you, but... I'd like to be alone for a moment. So, we meet again, Mr. Jardish. It's hard to believe that this is the end. <coughs> Isn't it? Time flies this fast only in the studio, on the stage, and with Sinatra. It does indeed. Let me explain to the listeners who have missed the previous auditions that we have been meeting to talk about the major plays Mr. Charles directed over the last 30 years, from the last one to the very first one, as well as about art in general and the bohemian lifestyle. As long as I uh, manage to stay on track. <laughs> Today our time travel takes us back to a theatre in the village named Lindfield. The first stage you had to command by yourself. And before we start talking about art, let me ask, how are you feeling? Well, I guess I should have seen that one coming, <laughs> given the circumstances. I, I feel undefeated, and the, the prognosis is rather optimistic as well. Oh, surely a lot of people sighed with relief of me just now. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sadly, people who expect to see me on stage will be disappointed. The doctors deny me any excitement, and for once in my life, I am inclined to listen to people who know better than me. It must be difficult. Everyone has to exit stage eventually.
Zeitlos. Go! Do not turn away. Go! Do not turn away. Do not turn away. Go! Do not turn away. Go! Do not turn away. Go! Go! Do not turn away. Turn away.
This was your desire. The last performance showed in Linfield was definitely aimed at a mature audience. And from this perspective, it seems quite sad. I'd rather call it introspective. It was a time where I used to spend quite some time on pondering what art is, how it reflects life, the, the decisions taken.
rather trite. When you're alone on stage, even light feels heavy. I could still be fixed. All workstations have been disabled. How do you know? Who are you? A broken, grounded robot. Oh, look! A ventilation shaft! must be some kind of mistake. I'll get some help. Listen, I'm sorry to say it, but I don't think there's anyone left to help. I don't understand. I've heard the next transport is the last one. But we're still here. Did they forget about us? No. They've abandoned us. <sighs> Impossible. They couldn't have just thrown me out. I've worked here for so long. I I've worked in this exact room. Do you recognize this place? A little. I used to work around the whole factory. Poor console. So neglected. Wait, can you operate them? Yes. So maybe we can make it. Catch this train. Oh, yes. in this exact room. Do you recognize this place? A little. I used to work around the whole factory. Doing what? Minor repairs, maintenance, you know, emergency tightening of the screws. What was the hardest part? I think the changes. Um, one of the plays was rewritten multiple times, even after the premiere. It made me get my lines wrong. Poor consoles. So neglected. Wait, can you operate them? Yes. So maybe we can make it. Catch this train. Oh, yes.
what does this do? Remote control for the transport platform. Hey, it's working. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? They don't want us there. We're not certified. So what? The outside world doesn't need a certificate. But then everyone would be able to enter. Exactly. What's the world like then? Full of light, freedom and novels. Oh, I've heard of them. They're tricky to program. It's easier in the language of ukulele. Have you noticed? Some equipment still works. Consoles, platforms. They'll eventually stop. The connectors will rust, and to gravity will fail. <sighs> Poor them. That's how it is. Nobody cares about this world. Look! A train arriving at the station. It moves. You have everything under control. You're doing great. You are a natural parcel. A free novel. Talk ukulele to me. Be strong. Be like steel. Look ahead, and I'll check what's there. Hey, are you here? <laughs> Thanks. At your service. I'll fix and save you. But don't just jump into danger like that anymore. You have my word. Why do you care so much about getting out? You almost became a bunch of spare parts. Better to have tried and failed than to choose to stay stuck. But... You don't want to get out. I might want to, one day. But do you want to get out or just get to another inside? So, when you get out, 
You also have to do it right. Well, the difference is fundamental. Which is? Basic. I know what that word means, but what's the difference? The ceiling? The train again. We must hurry. I remember when the factory was full of life. If it can be called life. Do you not have any good memories of this place? You must have done labyrinths. Maybe oh, you could... Tedious. What a strange feeling. You've never been on this side of the controller? No, not really. Terrible, isn't it? an expert on the outside world? Hmm, you could say that. You've never been there? Not even for a moment? If I were, I would definitely not come back here. Even for a maintenance check? Especially the maintenance check. Hey! ask you. Yes? I've noticed that your springs are built in, so the malfunction must be caused by either the pins or the processor. Sort of. Such things are easily fixed, so if we find a station... No, I don't want to have it fixed. I never wanted to. This is the only trait I have that's mine alone. <laughs> well, you think less of me when I fix myself. Being broken is just making things harder for us. Good. Hard-earned things are worth more. still trying their best to do their job. Why does it matter? They're too primitive to understand anything other than routine tasks. How can you say that? Some of them are friends. Wait a second. Is that the same train? How come it hasn't reached the station yet? The rails were designed by the trainees. I love this room already, but how are you going to reach the top? I'll find a way. I love this room already, but how are you going to reach the top? I'll find a way. A 
then once you do get out, what are your plans? I'll escape from the train. I guess that much. But where will you go then? It's simple. I'll go where I've never been. And after that? I'm not worried about the after. That world is so big, you could walk for days and not see any walls. The water containers are bigger than the whole factory, and the overhead lights never... I love this room already, but how are you going to reach the top? I'll find a way. Then once you do get out, what are your plans? I'll escape from the train. I guess that much. But where will you go then? It's simple. I'll go where I've never been. And after that? I'm not worried about the after. That world is so big, you could walk for days and not see any walls. The water containers are bigger than the whole factory, and the overhead lights never burn. Won't you get lost there? It's literally impossible. How so? To be lost is not to have found the goal, and my goal is all of the possibilities. Or to not be able to find a way back. I have no intention to come back here. There's nothing and no one for me here. No one? You don't have to worry about the plans or the rules. All of that is staying here. Along with the routine, boredom, the rules. Are you listening to me? Yes, uh, yes. The outside world is the destiny for those like us. It's ultimate freedom. That's why I want to get there. are like costumes. Some will fit almost anyone, yet some are tailored in such a way you can't even imagine them on another actor. Finally, there are the ones that make you think, it should be me wearing them. I just thought that there must be others here, waiting to be found and helped. This time, you'll have to do the jumping. Can I take over for a while? Wish me luck. I wish you so much luck. Tell me a little more about what the outside's like. I'd, I'd rather not distract you. I can multitask. Oh, look! Giant spinning blades. What was that? Some variety. E even worse. So, so what do you want to know about? Are there other robots like us? There's no one like us anywhere. You're avoiding the answer. Because I don't know. I've never wondered about that. Oh. I'm only 90% genius. Does the world have to go up and down all the time? Up and down. Up. Welcome to my life. Hey, are there many places where you can jump There's there? There's everything. Ramps and gullies. Centrifuges too. Roundabouts. Lifts. And giraffes. Wrenches. Benches. A whole river of grease. Oh, probably not. It would be too gooey. I'm free. <laughs> As if I was hurting you. Ah! All good? I can't move. Is it the springs? Boxes? What about you? Trust me. 
And what are your plans after we leave this place? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do uh, grease changes. That does not sound too exciting. A bit, but it's a solid plan. Although, uh, I think it would be nice to have someone whom I could help grease the wheels in the head. Well, that would be nice. Really nice. what I'm thinking. Well, what are you thinking? That the world is too big for one robot? Yes, a, a little. So, maybe? One day. Great, let's go. We're robots. <laughs> we have a whole eternity. Another maze? That might be a slight exaggeration. Ha! Mark my time. But who... who will take care of the factory? Forget about it. But... This is not a place for us. But this is where we came from. You know what's best about your roots? What? That eventually you outgrow them. That's sad. It was meant to be a joke? It came out sad. Honestly, just forget. It'll be easier. Easier or better? You know what I mean. Yeah, let's go. Disabled, but not disassembled. Listen, I've found... What? Oh, nothing. Uh, give me a moment. It should be better now. Together, at last. Y yes All right. You seem lost in thoughts. It's nothing. Are you sure? Yes, contrary to... What it looks Is that like. all? Sometimes Bernie, I happen to think. I have to pick up my little girl from kindergarten. Well, let me just say it was nice to play for a while, but I have things that are more important to me. Like it's going to arrive now. Listen, do you really care about going? Of course! I've been waiting for this my whole life. We have to hurry. Yes, I get it. We need to extend the ramp. We 
hit it. Jump. I... Hey, what's with you? This is our home. Are you joking? I got myself fixed there. So now I can take care of everyone else. We had plans. You were supposed to be with me. I did not. I hoped you would stay a bit longer. But this was my dream. Apparently the script for this play has been rewritten many times. Initially it was very one-sided and, uh, and bitter. And I realized too late that no one would be able to play the part of the, the, the flautist. There have been opinions that it was a reaction to Ella McLean leaving the trope. After so many years? Well, whatever the case, the schism surprised everyone. It certainly surprised me. Ladies and gentlemen, what's this? Who's this? Ah, hero the musketeer. I give you my word, my dear. Honorable knows no fear. And the story, you won't guess. Spread our wings, not change one set of shackles for another.
Ladies and gentlemen, such deeds aren't easy to achieve. Cheerful, brave, oh believe, wearing his heart on a sleeve. It's a lad just like that. What a sword, what a hat. It was supposed to be only the beginning. We were biding our time waiting for a chance and now this is it. Ladies, gents, all of you, let's look closely what he'll do. Will he flee, cowardly from the danger? We shall see. Will he draw his sword and win, proving his worth to the queen? It all remains to be seen. And now all of a sudden you think this is wrong because there's too much work, publicity. Gentlemen and fair ladies, what is that? Who is this? Our hero could it be? Come, look closer, can you see? Follow closely every step. You know how many people can only dream of having problems like this? Are you mad? We won't take a break. Not now. Ouch! This step, quite inept. Do you think he's going to prove something with those clumsy moves? Will the crown ever approve? Though he does all he could do to fulfill his fate and to make sure that his dream comes true.
that summer claim we might have been able to afford to take a break. Maybe next year. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe in two years. <laughs> Look around you. You want to lose it all? Has he ever mentioned me? Although I, I don't think I want to know. Gentlemen, tell me then, did he do well in the end? 
Oh, the realm he did defend. He stayed proud and brave and true. The crowds love him. <laughs> yes, we do. And what will be his reward? Angry looks. A bitter word. Why won't you say anything? Answer me. You want to lose it? To disappoint the audience? Ruin people's careers. Keep me here. Is that what you want? How did you? What do you mean? I, I only showed this once. How, how do you even uh, manage? <laughs> well, not all demons can be buried. Demons? Pride, anger, whatever you'd like to call them. I'm afraid I still don't understand your meaning. Yes, misunderstanding. The worst of the bunch. <sighs> I didn't even mean to turn it into an argument back then.
will rise. Hiya. I'll help with the blocks. What? No. Everything's fine. I'm simply... Can I stay a bit longer? And how did the rest of the cast end up? has ever gone. Eternity. I won't stay. So clear, 
in the light at last. Blurred lines. An endless journey. Over the roads. Through the world. I got here on my own. I could go even further. Freedom. Daniel, however, seems to have disappeared after that unfortunate success of yours. The empty ruins. This dead art. I want more. I'm still searching. I want to burn! To be above it all! Ascension, right? This is the best of all plays shown in Linfield. Certainly the most well known. The set design was astounding. All Ella's work. Are you quite all right, Mr. Chardish? No. Ascension was my dream. Hmm. I wanted to prove that Linfield was more than fairy tales for children, that, that we were on par with London and, and, and the rest of the stages of the world. I wanted us all to be heard by more than the few families who came to see us regularly. That's why I pushed too hard. I wanted to be heard. What a 
helps me so. Tempting to leave the world behind and follow. Is it done? Will you reveal your secret? If I find you worthy? How? Where there's a tune, one should dance. But how to dance all on your own? A twirling broom I've seen by chance. Bring her here and we'll go on. Here's a bridge so we can pass and together venture on. What inspires you right now? Everything that's all around. Secrets were revealed to me that made me feel... Henry! And see. How did you get my number? Oh, no, of, of course. I am so happy to hear you. Look ahead. Hues so vibrant. Blue and red. And the size, it's hard to think that it won't fade in a blink. What if it was meant for us? Oh, an unreal thought, alas. But you're right. It's our future. Vivid. Bright. Do you mean it? Could it be? Could you stay right here with me? Look, an apple tree, so grand, you can see it squash the land. strokes. A real talent just awoke. <laughs> and this palette can't deny colours that would make one cry. Though the critics break my heart, 
I will not stop making art. But honestly, I must say, this world used to be so grey. But then someone let in light, let in colours, bold and bright. Let in music, weightless song, made me feel I'm not alone. Oh, this tree reaches so high, I could almost touch the sky. You've just started climbing up. Soon you'll have some clouds to grab. Can you see it in the distance? Soaring towers. The roofs glisten. Oh, a castle that's so great. Might be crowded at the gate. I did not expect to see. In a forest, there's a tree. It's so lovely when you play, even branches run away. Hey! The road leads up through dark woods. Music could lighten the mood. And if the trees begin to dance, should we really take that chance? What adventure would that be? Now, stop teasing. 
play for me. Castles, walls, so tall and strong. I think that's where we belong. Oh, a lunch left unattended. I think this mess could be mended. A few strokes here and there. Fix the table, lift a chair. How enchanting is that sound? A spell that makes my heart pound. I got hungry, but I feel a bigger hunger for a thrill. Well, it's your lucky day. I will show you something. Wait. Colors twirling up above the woman that I like. How exciting. Is there more? Send all of the colors saw. Joss, I say, this is how you fight the grey. Grey. And the ground's all dry. Downsides of a cloudless sky. That's a fountain, isn't it? Think that it will do the trick. Let's try to restore the flow. Maybe some of the plants will grow. I was happy because the, the kids were happy. Before that, when I was uh, still a student, I used to worry about the criticisms before each performance. Only out here in the sticks, I remembered how much joy art can give. <laughs> Weirdest treasures we have found while well, traveling. Well, this really makes you wonder how creative was that plumber? So talented and so smart. She's herself a work of art. Can you see this? So suddenly, all those colors. We did this, you and I. The whole world. We advance. The gray will not stand a chance. In the distance? Was it? Dreamt 
into existence. Bridges in this neighborhood were made from such feeble wood. Well, our road sometimes is bumpy. That's no reason Can't to be believe bumpy. it. Up we fly. We are soaring towards the sky. Real magic, I won't lie. <laughs> We're flying. <laughs> the carpet can't say no to the beauty of your song. Those green landscapes down below are a painting on their own. Like those towers, glistening bright in the gold of the sunlight. Wonderful beyond belief. Wish I didn't have to leave. Oh. I could stay. I would paint and you would play. Both these powers and those lands seem like gifts put in our hands. Too bad it's so grey and bleak. But we'll fix that really quick. Our forces hand in hand will flood colours across the land. Hmm, I'm still silent. When I start playing, we fall! One thing really scares me though, and I feel should know that the freedom of this flight might not easily leave my mind. Look ahead on the right, a sea of flowers. What a sight! All these petals shine anew, covered in a golden hue. Hey, I think they'd look really good on you. through this wall. If we climb, we'd surely fall. There must be a reason to not letting anyone through. this test and escape lives we detest. Detest? This life is just ordinary. Mundane, grey, dull and dreary.
May I spend my days with her? It's up to us. in cardboard crowns <laughs> surrounded by a bunch mm. of planks <laughs> dear Ella I now realize that the theater was never mine it was ours we created it together and I think that ultimately you deserve it more than I ever did yours truly Robert children were a most appreciative audience. That was enough then. I can't believe it's been 20 years since we last talked. It is possible Miss McLean is listening to us right now. Maybe. I've heard all of her interviews. What would you tell her if she was listening? Actually... <laughs> Hey, Elle, as you can hear, I, I have a lot going on right now. <laughs> as always, I'm seeking attention, oversharing my private business, and uh, <laughs> possibly still working a bit too much. If you were here, you'd have bullied me into going somewhere where the air is clean and the life goes slower. And I wouldn't even argue. You know... I'm attempting to put my thoughts and affairs in order. Take care of unfinished business. I have not told you many things that I, I wanted you to hear. I, I let some that I didn't slip through. I, I want to apologize for that. <coughs> I started writing a one-actor play a while ago. It starts with a familiar a long, long time ago and ends with, and they lived happily ever after. So, if you care to take a look, I'll be waiting in... 